feels really exciting to be at this point in my journey. So far, my overnight week has been a dream. It is so gorgeous here in Mexico, and I'm so close to an engagement. It's incredible. Having this uninterrupted time is just really huge for me to gain clarity on who I want to spend the rest of my life with. There was Avon, who was my first overnight of this week. I think it went so well. It was a good night. It was a great night. I am falling in love with you. Falling in love with you deeper. We were really able to get to know each other deeper and see that we have a great connection. This is so rad. And then my next overnight with Tino was so perfect. My heart's a little bit in my throat saying this, but I love you, Rachel. I love you, too. I really do. It felt so amazing to hear him say he's in love with me and to say it back. I'm excited to have my last overnight date with Zach today. We had such a great hometown. He told me he was in love with me, and I'm falling in love with him, too. So I am a little bit freaked out because I have three incredible guys, and in 10 days, there's going to be one. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? So hopefully, I can put my nerves aside today and have an amazing day with Zach. You look beautiful. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Oh, Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to Puerto Morelos. This is my first time in Mexico. We're going to have a really fun day on the town and explore. What do you say? Oh, I can't wait. Let's are do you it. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Zach is everything that I want in a partner. I don't even have a question would Zach get down on one ear? Is Zach ready? Because I know he is. I'm going to go in here. Interesting. The last time I saw Zach was in Anaheim for his hometown, and I definitely see myself being a part of his family for sure. Cheers. Cheers. Because of all the families, his family was honestly the most welcoming. <laughs> you don't have to drink all. Just spill the tequila. Okay. Okay. I have to kiss the tequila. Kiss it. Just a little. Just a little? Yes. So good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. That's dangerous. Oh, yeah, so you got to meet with my dad, talk about planes. Mm -hmm. We had the best time. I, I feel like I fit in perfectly. Well, in this welcome. Family. That was a fun day. You survived mm -hmm. it, you know? Oh my God, your house is so beautiful. Thank Truly, you. your backyard is like my dream backyard. It was, you know, like the summer go to hangout spot. I was going to say, your house had to be, and I imagine your mom had to make so many meals for all of your friends so growing many. up. So many pizzas have been ordered. My dad just hit the grill. Yeah, your mom so seems fun. like, like, Oh my gosh, just, she is such an angel. She's so sweet. And like the yeah. way she talks about your dad, they talk about each other the exact same way. They're very much still in love like the day mm -hmm. they met. Well, I love that. They just went on like a however long road trip together. Yeah. And my mom said, you know, me and your father just were on a 20 day road trip in an RV and we didn't fight once. And she's like, we've been married for almost 30 years. And I was like, my that's parents are what I'm looking the whole time. for. No. Well, not fighting, but they like <laughs> the way they communicate is by like raising their voice. Gotcha. I don't think I've ever raised my voice. No one in my family raises voice. Oh. I don't think I've ever raised my voice ever in an argument. Really? You have such a like striking voice. Booming. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Can you try to speak in a high pitched voice? Is this high enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, everything is just so bright and fun and easy, and that's a pretty great feeling. Oh, ha. Huh. It's kind of coastal grandma. <laughs> we have, you know, no like rhyme or reason for anything we do or say, because we just get each other. <gasps> that could be us. We dead couple. <laughs> We're just doing fun stuff, which is kind of how I operate. What is that one? Oh, that's yeah. a big one. Chapulines. You can eat it. You want to try it? What kind of a bug is that? Grasshopper? We have to eat the bug. Here, I got you. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no way. These are good luck. 
It tastes like a chip. Ooh. Mm. I'm having an amazing time with Rachel today. I mean, everything you could ever ask for in Mexico, we're doing it. And now you're gonna buy me a ring. I'm feeling confident that the love has just been growing. Oh, oh. 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 And that she can, without a doubt, see a future with me as a spouse. Because I'm feeling it, and I think she's feeling it. But on the flip side. Aquí veo que tú estás muy indecisa. Hmm. The thought does constantly creep up, like, oh, you know, there's other relationships, you know, being formed here. That's not a fun and easy thought. Él es un buen hombre que te quiere muchísimo y que, bueno, en cierta forma ha esperado a que sane eso en tu corazón. Pero tu relación con él va a ir muy bien. Los conflictos del pasado los vas a dejar en el pasado y ya no vas a tener por qué recordarlos. Hmm. The reading was saying that I'm worried about the past and to not worry about the past because the future is positive. And I feel like I've definitely been worrying about the past because of what happened when I was in this position last time. The day Clayton told me to go home, I was just so heartbroken and so blindsided. And now I'm in a position where someone could get hurt. I love Mariachi. <laughs> <laughs> Zach has kind of been killing it today. We have a great time every single time we're together. And the relationship between Zach and I is really powerful. And he loves me and wants to take care of me. But with Tino and Avon, I also have such an incredible connection. So I'm struggling. It's like a lot harder than I ever thought. And I think people can't even begin to understand how much stress I'm under because how do I even get to a point emotionally where I can break up with any of these men who are the most incredible men I've ever met? I'm very confused right now.